Good organisations result from good leadership. Humanitarian sector, private sector, anywhere. It's good leadership that develops and steers good organisation. So the humanitarian sector, as it matures, as it grows, we're responsible for billions of pounds. That needs to be well spent. The needs of the world demand that INGOs are well led for efficiency and effectiveness. People think that leadership is born. There's some truth in that, but a lot of it can be taught. That's what the Leadership Development Programme does. Had Leadership Development Programme is targeted to the humanitarian leaders in the sector itself, and it makes the academic background with the practical examples leaders actually facing in their day-to-day -day work. Uh, this sort of training provides participants with a framework how to deal with situation and people in a way that is more efficient and effective. To lead the board, to lead the community, uh, to properly deal with themselves as a board, deal with the community, to interact with the, with the executives. So it is very, very necessary training program to get you started or to sharpen what you're doing already. Because I believe that knowledge is uh, very crucial to um, every leader and updating your information, it will give you more confidence and responsibility and um, accountability to do your job. LDB before I became a CEO, what I found is that the contents of LDB were actually relevant to the CEO position. They were very practical and highly designed and well delivered program. Alhamdulillah, we have seen the increase uh, in fundings coming in, and support from the people in Malaysia specifically, as well as our campaigns and so on and so forth. The workflow in all the offices increased by 20% after two months. Staff turnover dropped by 10% after three months. They, they raised last year, 2017, around 18 million. What I learned with LDP is I'm aware I was not aware. I became more conscious of my incompetence. And it also helped me understand my other team members and the other members of the organization. How do they make their decisions? What's their, uh, their mode of thinking? So I think it's very important for any organization to go through that training. And one of the great things I learned about LDB, uh, how to interact with others, putting myself in their shoes and try to understand my uh, counterpart in conversation and counterpart in decision maker. LDB has been fantastic in the sense that it not only, I guess, um, enriched my knowledge of leadership overall and different styles of leadership, but it was, it was really the personality test. And I, I think that that was sort of the refrain that we found from all the participants in particular. 